Hello everyone. Hello. Knock knock. Who is there? Come on. Oh, good. Two people are there. Excellent. While I'm waiting for all of them to come, a warm welcome to the Wholesome Wednesdays program, session number one, which is draping techniques or different styles of sari draping. Hello. Can you guys just pop in a message saying hi so that I know who is online? Hi. Come on ladies. Come on. Hi. Seven people. Hello everyone. Thank you for coming in. 17 people watching. Excellent. Okay, today's topic, as I mentioned, it is sari draping style. Before we go, let me just say what sari is all about. Oh, before that, let me just show you all what I'm draping today. This is a Georgian sari, which has got sequins embellished in it, and it's a sheer Georgian, pure Georgian sari. Ta -da -ta -da! Uh, anyway, I'll post the sari later on. Anyway, sari is actually a history. Did you know that the sari was uh, used during the period of Indus Valley civilization and it has evolved so much since that um, era, which is around 2000 uh, BC or even maybe 1800 BC. And it is a very unique garment which is only you know come from the subcontinent India and later on the other countries like Bangladesh, Nepal, Fiji, um, which, uh, which other country? Nepal, I did mention sorry, um, Sri Lanka, all these countries kind of like you know started um, to kind of like you know imitate and the, there are different styles and versions from different countries and obviously India is known for its six yard drape and usually the drape is five and a half meters to up to six or even sometimes nine meters and um, the width of it is normally between 42 inches and 247 inches did you all know how much it was anyway that's like uh, to enhance the trivia knowledge there and normally the sari, as you'll know, everyone knows, uh, there are some who are from other countries as well, and um, they don't wear saris, but they enjoy um, seeing um, the saris being posted. Um, for them, basically, it's a six yard drape, and basically it has got um, the, uh, the inner portion of it, <laughs> which is, um, like you know which is the one which goes um from the uh navel um and you kind of like you know tie around and it's got the middle portion and then it's the pala so like you know it's kind of like different uh three different unique uh, portions in a sari and also i think yesterday's in my yesterday's post i mentioned about um the sari how it got got its name Previously, it was known as satika. Satika basically is a three-piece garment and it comprises of the anthria, which is the lower garment. And nowadays, the new trend is basically, which has evolved into lehengas or gagras or dhotis type. And the second portion, which is the veil, which we drape across our um, shoulder, it's called the uttariya. And 
and that is equivalent to the dupatta which we wear in the modern style and then the third portion is the stanapatta which is the chest bag and which is nothing but the blouse or the choli the modern version of it and different states in india have got different styles for example coming from karnataka like we have um, the nine yard drapes which is known as the matsa and the people from coming from Kurg wear it in a different style and that's the Kurki style. And then uh, people from Maharashtra wear the Nivi or the Nuwari style. And people from um, Gujarat um, and Rajasthan have a different uh, draping style as well. And Assam and Oriya, uh, Bangladesh and Oriya together, that will go together. And Assam has the uh, Mekla Chado. So if every state has got its um, unique um, style of draping the sari. And internationally also, like for example, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka also has its own style. The Sinhalese wear it in a different style. Um, it is called um, Kandyan or Kandayan or, Osar or Osaria style. And the Nepali style is called Haku Patashi. I don't know how it is pronounced. And Pakistan is always almost similar to us. And just uh, a trivia question there. I'll leave it for you guys to answer um, during the course of the um, session or you can message later on. Um, in the same video section. I'm just asking, did you all know where and how the blouse and the petticoat evolved? So that's a trivia question and I'll get you all uh, to answer that. And now coming to the uh, event today, it is done by Hema Pallavi and as you all know, she has posted numerous, numerous sari posts on different styling techniques and every style is kind of like very unique and she's actually a master's in um, biogenetics um, uh, and she actually is a housewife at the moment. She is uh, working from home and she is a housemaker. She looks after her kid and she is a fitness freak she is into yoga and she is into running and plus she has got um kind of like you know very much interested in saris and the draping techniques and today she will be showing you four different styles of wearing the saris and i have to quit this and i have to finish this and hema will take over from now on because uh, the platform what i am in which is in the group it is not supported um, for co-hosting. I can only do it from Facebook Live, which I don't want to because this is uh, more for this group. So Hema Pallavi will take over from now. Okay, so signing off, Hema Shetty off and Hema Pallavi Khande will be on. Thank you, ladies. Stay on. Hi, can you see me? Hi, can you see me? Uh, good. Hi, this is Hema. As you all know, sorry for the trouble. Like, you know, I couldn't connect. Uh, so today I'll be uh, talking about uh, the sari draping. You have all seen me many a times, you know, draping uh, different saris and in different styles. So today I thought, why not show uh, four different drapes for all of you? And uh, thanks, Hema, for giving me this opportunity. So I always say, like, uh, before draping uh, a sari uh, in a different style, first we have to think about what you want to look at the end of the day. See, sometimes what we do is we wear so many things, uh, like, and to, the whole look will look so confused. What I suggest is anybody who wants to really experiment with their look, 
I want the look to be simple and uh, elegant, you know, because uh, that's how it looks great. So uh, today I'll be uh, showing you uh, four different drapes. So using this is a crop top and this is a high plate skirt. So what I suggest is whenever you are doing something like uh, planning something with a skirt, so have high plate skirt, either long plate skirt. Normally people will have a kankan setup, but I really find it so uh, heavy and uh, even the storing is also very difficult. So what I suggest is take something which is very long like this. So it's easy for you to look uh, grand and it gives you that heaviness into the drape. So and a crop top or any top till which it comes here or a blouse. So whichever suits you the whole look, you might have something in your mind. Just do that. It will be much more, uh, it will be better on this. So the first look which I'll be showing you is. So what I picked up is a very soft silk sari just a soft silk so what the main important thing on any sari draping is the pleats your pleats should be really small so the sari draping is very simple you know the main thing which is important in sari draping is the pleats so what i suggest is People who are not comfortable wearing saris. So, what you do is take the sari, like pleat the things really small, like this, literally small. You know, it gives you a very clean look to the whole sari. So, when once you do, what you do is. Just pin it up here. So, when any look comes, try to keep it as long as possible, like this. Just leave it like this and pick up a pin and pin it up. Then, the whole sari is this. What you do is start pleating. So, Take the measurement till here. So this is where it has to start. So from here, start pleating again. As a normal set, how you pleat? Again, keep it a small pleats because that's where the look comes. So keep pleating it. Continue it. So this, this is the main art in the sari dripping. There's nothing more in this. So now when you have a one meter lut, so what you do, just take the whole bunch of pleats like this, then pin it up. Just pin up the whole pleats. Now, take it back and keep it checked. So can you just see it? How I'm, have I tugged it? That's it. Now, the remaining material, the one which we have left it, what you do, this is the material which we have left. So from this corner, then start again pleating like this. So this is the vertical one. This is the vertical one. Try to keep it horizontal. Then start pleating from this end. One. So slowly, again, the small, the much better, it gives you a clean look. So, done. So this is good. Now what you do, just lift it up wherever it is. So, you pin it up. So what happens is, see? And the main thing, in all these kind of drapes, to need a waist belt because what's the beauty of this waist belt? It clenches you at the waist and it gives you a very clean look for your whole sari structure. So what do you do? 
just any belt for that matter it's not a traditional one any belt any thread which gives you the look so pin it up and tada is done can you see it so it's as simple as that it's your sari it will surely listen to you now so easy easy peasy so the main thing which you have to remember is the top the skirt and a very lovely silk sari which listen to you no matter what and i always request you don't overcrowd the whole look because it doesn't look good just give it a simple a big gym cast will do or a, a heavy necklace will do there's nothing more you need and you will look lovely always no matter what you will stand out in a crowd believe me so i hope you like this look a simple one you can even wear it with a blouse you can wear it with a flare top anything will do so now going on to the second look first let me remove this actually do you remember this is my son's belt i have actually flicked all his belts for my saree draping so i'll just remove everything so now we'll go to the second one it's easy peasy see there's nothing more you need to do just wear your skirt pick up your beautiful silk saree and you just need just 10 minutes to get ready nothing more now the second look so again okay this is the look which i have right now and now what i've taken is a nice tassel set this is a very nice tassel very lightweight it will listen to you and this is also pretty like you know what you say it's very elegant piece there's nothing no colors much so for this again start pleating pleating is the mantra for any sari draping pleat the only thing you have to keep practicing is pleat 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 okay now so first for any sari drape get your pallu proper so what i do is again for any drape your length should be long it gives you a very very clean look and a classy look just believe me it will really look so elegant when you have a big pallu now pin it up now in this drape what we have to do is get the whole sari at the front the whole sari is at the front now just put your pleats properly the whole sari is at the front now what you have to do you have to start leave 1 meter again leave 1 meter then start pleating from this end again 1 start pleating what you do just keep pleating the whole thing should be pleated very neatly and in a line that's how and very small don't really keep it any big so now we got everything at the front then tuck it up here what you do just see below the navel just below the navel then put everything inside okay see how the flare is working now again the remaining garment which is here again horizontal draping one two start draping that's it as easy as it goes so this material what you do just lift this pallu up then just keep it here that's it see what it gives you it gives you a real umbrella look don't you think so so it's so grand so again what i picked up is you know what is this thread normally this thread comes 
uh, when you go for a sari shopping, they tie it on the boxes, right, to give you. Those are the threads. I save them for my sari belts. So what I do, just again tie it up nicely. Not very tightly, just give so that you have a breathing space. Then, adjust all your pleats. That's it. It's nice. So here what happens is, you'll have a very flare look of your satin. All the pleats will look super good. So do you like it? So this is one more drape, wherein you have a raw silk kanjivarams. Then inside you, you can have any Banaras uh, skirt over which you can drape these kind of sarees to give a very, very uh, elegant, ethnic look, you know. Believe me, this look, I love it so much and it's a basic look which I always follow for any of my marriages in my family. Believe it, you, you do to try it, it'll be really grand. Good? Good to go? Now, I'll take everything out again. So, this is a simple drape, easy, there's nothing I did. No pins even required, only one, which goes for the pallu. That's it, see? It's easy, removable, and just remove this, that's it. So, how much time it took to get ready? Now, your husbands or your children won't complain that you're taking tons of time to get ready, right? That's it, again, the same. So, now, the third look. I hope everything, everybody are enjoying it. I hope it's going to be useful for all of you. So, going on to the third one. So, I picked up this. It's again a very silk sari. There's nothing more on this. See? Only checkered stuff. Only checkered. There's nothing on this sari. So, these kind of saris really go for all these kind of sari trips really we don't need so much of anything onto these saris silk saris unicolor saris or like any prints those will look real beautiful again even for this start pleating so for anything your pallu is the main see normally i keep six or seven here uh, that depends upon how far you are trained but even five looks good Try not to have four because it looks so very broad here. Try to keep it five or, yeah, five is minimum and seven is, yeah, if you can really make it, seven and eight are a good number. See, again, I left it here. Then, pin it up. Okay, easy. Now, in this way, what we are going to do again, Get all your material. Okay, got it right? Everything. So, get everything at the front. And check your pleats. That's more important. They should be real clean here. Now, what you do is, start from the end, end of the side. Start pleating. Again, the small is the better. It will look really good. So keep pleating it. There's nothing much is required for these kind of drapes. Just pleating. Keep pleating it. So now, oh, so much more, right? So keep pleating it. Now, Adjust your sari at the back. So I have so much more fabric again. So what do you do? Yes, it's done here. What do you do? Instead of at the back or front, I'm going to keep them at the side. Side of the look. So what do you do? Again, adjust the length and tuck it in. Okay, it's simple. Wait. Now, even this material which is hanging here, try to... Put everything inside. Now, let's add a little bit of tharka to this look. So now, this is what it's hanging. You can even wear it like this. 
it looks equally good but if you can do much more what you can do now we have put everything inside but what we do just take the last split and start pleating it so it's easy peasy right so what do you do see how far the frills are coming now give it this clean look what happens with this see it gives you a kind of what do you see you can see the lace going up, going down it gives so real elegant to it you know see can you see this so here the beauty of this is it will be at the side again take your waistband that's more important again correct your pleats at the chest okay then take the belt and tighten it that's it so these belts you get everywhere you need not invest much they go for any colors there's nothing much you need to do see it's nice see the yellow as the sunshine to the whole set this is as simple as it goes how much time did it take for me you know hardly five minutes to pleat that's it so i that's the reason i prefer my sarees because they're easy to handle they're easy to drape hardly takes any time to drape it okay do you like the work see now going on to the final look which i hope everybody will be interested it's a very very stylish look the last one i saved it for the last okay see it's easy to drape and easy to remove then again now correct it okay done how is it my skirt and the crop top i was damn used this skirt so many times you know so for this look i picked up a very nice silk only one just pink there's nothing much is there what you have to do is find the center of your sari you know go in the center so just find the center of the sari yeah then what you do is start pulling up everything properly okay done this top is done wear it like this okay till now it's easy right so now correct it properly easy so covering the chest area so what you do is take this half this side take the other half this side okay now correct it that's main important okay now this part which is from this side from the left side again start pleating at the end again small the better small the better the small the clean look so did you do it so now what you do just try to keep it here right it's easy there's i think one more pleat can go small pleat yes right so what you do take it at the back and tuck it in right see it's everything is covered now the other half this one right then take then take then this is generally preferred for the evenings you know it's like it gives you a kind of gown look on your skirt so what you can do is you can pick up a very nice chiffon which are you have very lightweight bright color and you can have this drape to look so elegant for any receptions or um, close knit parties wherein you want to make a statement so what you do 
just try something new you know don't keep it regular you know we have been doing it regular for so long right so now the draping is done take it back i think i have few more to drape okay keep it keep measuring the length okay that's main important hold everything together then see equal see beside this you put it up okay see what happens so correct everything keep pleats in place so they should look as if they tying it both the ends okay see this is a very very stylish you can have a big jhumka chand balis to it and the look will go awesome and again there's one more sari dupatta thread which i'm using so what you do again just see don't try to just keep it here what you do find a place where it clinches at the waist see yeah and don't tie it up where in your the other tummy comes up just give it a clean look so what you do either you can tie it at the side to give a fashionable statement or it's your regular at the back see you can either cover it up like this to give you a proper look or what you can do just pull it up and just leave it how is it it's nice so so how is it did you all love it say i thought i will drape only four you know but we can try many more do you want to see one more uh i can even try i think one more right can i try sure i will try for you one more hey ma i think i've just so do you want um maybe i think what i can do is uh we will do one more sari draping with a uh, with a pant with a palazzo any other thing i think this time i think with skirt what you can do is so these are the four different drapes and uh, you can even drape this one only one simple thing which i'll show you just you can try it so this is not a drape this is a different way of drape that's it nothing more i'm not going to show you again see what do you do so just remove everything okay <laughs> and messy don't don't worry i will i have so much work to do after this call so what you do remove everything you remember the first drip just showed a regular one what you can do is you can give a gujarati look to this drip you know what you can do just like this you keep it here okay keep it clean not like me okay i'm just trying to show you keep it here then take the sari again take the sari here what you do is leave a little bit little lip loop here just to give that look you know as a fashion tumka types just leave it a look here then again start draping okay start draping start pleating sorry i don't know why i always say it's drape just start pleating it so what you do is pleat it here so leave it see how nicely pleats have come what you do is just put it here just put it so what the other half this one which is still remaining what you can do is take the horizontal again then start doing this what we did with the first same again you can even drape like this okay this is one way of simple look one way of simple look okay you can just pin it up again this one more style you can try if you are wearing something like this covering your mid portion 
uh, the chest and everything is clean, covered, you will not be worrying. What you can do, just pull it up and just wear it like this. So, it's like this. Or you can just really pull it, everything together to give, you know, what you see, a neck piece. You, you need not have any necklaces, anything for that matter. Just keep it like this. Really, if you really want to make a statement, you know, with your saris. I said, sari is your best friend. They can damn listen to you anyhow. So, I, I don't know where I picked it up. So, this is one look. You can do it like this or just like this. Just a casual. Don't worry about this side and this side because it's all covered. If you have something tops like this, you can play around this palla so much. You know, we need not worry about the chest being seen, this area to be seen. You can literally play around with this pallu. Just like keep it very simple as an elegant. Just keep it short. Just but here, there's one more tunka type. There's one more here, tunka type. Or else, just what you do. Just keep it like this. Anyhow, it's your sari man. It's you, you're wearing it. Wear whichever way you want, whichever way you can make a statement. That's nothing. I think now people are more open to try the saris. So, wear anything, anything. And I always say, enjoy wearing saris. Because we have been wearing the saris in the more traditional type. But once you start learning to experiment it, I can guarantee you, I'm a person who used to wear a modern a lot, you know. I used to stash up so much, but now there's nothing. It's only saris. If I want to be traditional, I wear a sari. If I want to be modern, I wear a sari. If I want to be Indo-Western, I wear a sari. It's, there's nothing more. I hope you all enjoy. And if you really like it, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoy and hope you guys drape and let me know. Okay, thanks Hema again for giving this wonderful opportunity. It was really my dream of showing my drapes to somebody and you gave me a platform again. Thank you. Bye.